The Tesla Cybertruck has just been unveiled and I've got Australian details for you. G'day everyone, my name is Chris and well, this is your channel for everything happening in Australia and well, sometimes around the world in the space of renewable technology, EVs, and well, pickup trucks it seems. And uh, Elon Musk proudly unveiled the Cybertruck and well, it was polarizing, wasn't it? Some people on the interwebs are saying that, well, maybe Elon was maybe smoking something when he dreamt up this vehicle, just maybe, I myself, I firmly believe it actually looks like it came out of the game Halo. Maybe it's actually something that my kids actually did in Minecraft. Uh, this guy also thought that maybe he actually had designed it already and beat Elon to it. I, I'm just not very sure and the reception so far on uh, Twitter has been rather negative. Um, I'd like to know your thoughts. What do you think of it? Those extremely harsh lines just are really jarring to me and it looks a bit too basic. I imagine that the tech's going to be awesome and, and I, the, the rear cargo that actually tucks in on itself is pretty impressive. You can, char you can charge your um, electric um, you know, four-wheel bike on it. That's also pretty cool. Um, what else? It can tow. Oh my gosh, can this thing tow? I'll give you some numbers. Hang on. The entry-level model is going to be able to tow 3,400 kilograms. Uh, so the weekend is not ruined. No. Uh, the mid-range is going to be able to tow 4,500 kilograms and well the biggest model is going to be when mind you when I say this they're all actually the same size I'm talking about battery size here and also number of motors I'll get to that in a minute um, the biggest one's going to be able to tow 6,300 kilograms that's pretty significant and well geez there was a, a lot of fun in this uh, exhibit and I think Elon was having a lot of fun up until this moment in time yeah Oh my fucking god. Well. Yeah. Yeah. That's the glass breaking when he didn't want it to. And well, if you hear uh, what Elon says when France goes break that window, have a listen. Oh my fucking god. Well. Yeah. <laughs> he said that. And uh, look, they did a demonstration before that by dropping uh, through a silo. Uh, that big metal ball. And it didn't break the glass. And unfortunately, when France had a good go at it, it broke and well that is now going to be folklore meme for forever and ever <laughs> yeah gosh anyway this thing has got some very tough and special steel um panels so you know france also gave it a good hit with the baseball bat and you no know, dents so that's gonna be great for car parts because let's face it nothing worse than getting indoored is there no absolutely not and uh and i think real the real selling message on this thing is going to be well one, the price, which I'll tell you in a moment, but also its speed. Oh my gosh, the entry level, the single rear um, motor version is going to be able to do uh, from zero to 100 in 6.5 seconds. That's a really respectable time. And that little sucker is going to be able to go 400 kilometers. Great. All right, the mid range, that's going to be the dual motor version. <laughs> the dual motor version, that's going to be able to go 480 kilometers and get to 100 k's per hour in 4.5 seconds. Again, that's pretty crazy fast. And to get that sort of speed out of something so large that's so utility based, my hat's off to you, uh, Tesla. Then the, the real big number here though is the three motor version. We're going to call this plaid, folks, because it's going to be able to go from 0 to 100 k's per hour in about 2.9 seconds. And I say in about 2.9 seconds because I'm quoting times based upon the zero to 60 miles per hour. And when you convert that, that's, that's, that's 96 Ks per hour. But that's getting too technical. All right, so uh, compelling, yes, divisive, very much so. Now the pricing and well, the timelines as well. We're gonna discuss these things, don't we? Let's get the basics out of the way. First up, it's no use doing a basic conversion from American dollars to, US, uh, to Australian dollars um, to do what it's going to be in Australia because that doesn't work. So just to give you an example, the entry level single rear drive is going to come in at roughly $57,000 Australian, but no, 
We've got to put on taxes, import fees, stamp duty, luxury car tax if it's applicable, um, it, and then Tesla's delivery fee. So I put into my special online calculator that I use for the Tesla Model 3, and that was pretty accurate when um, I use that. And we'll get this. This little baby is going to be coming in at $76,879. That's only like several thousand dollars more than the Model 3 Standard Range Plus. That's phenomenal. That, that, crazy amazing. Now, if you ask me, you know how Apple has got the Apple tax? Basically, you just put um, a computer and it's $1,000 and you put an Apple logo on them and it's suddenly $1,500. Yeah. Tesla is kind of the same because in Australia, they're very much a premium brand. And looking at other cars, like other you know, premium uh, luxury four-wheel drives, they, they cost this much money and well, a lot more. So I'm going to say this and mark my words when it actually does come out in Australia. We're going to rewind to this video and I'll see how right or wrong I was. Ready? So my guesstimate is going to be by 2023, that's when it's going to come in Australia, it's going to come in at $84,000. Yeah. Okay. So that's just a rear wheel drive, 400 kilometers of range, zero to hundred time at 6.5 seconds. The middle level is going to cost about $72,000 converted. All right. But that's just converted. Let's whack all those taxes on. And it comes in now at $94,000 plus some change. Getting up there, a little bit ouchy, definitely. But look, the long range Model 3 is about that price. And I'm thinking this is actually probably very much akin to that. Um, look, this is going to be able to go to 480 kilometers and um, you get a lot of vehicle for that money. So I think that price is pretty much right on. But let's apply the $8,000 premium because it's Tesla. And that might actually then settle on about $102,000. Yeah. Then finally, the tri motor plaid model with a crazy fast time is going to set you back in eye watering. $140,000. Yikes. Very, very expensive. But you know what? There are a lot more expensive cars in Australia right now and people will pay for it. Yeah, they, they will. So what do you think? If you could, would you buy one? I'd really like to know. I'll put a poll up here. Vote on it now for me. And look, before you do go, got something to give away. Oh yeah, I did mention 2023, didn't I? Okay, because production is going to start in 2021 and by 2022, Tesla's going to have a production fully ramped up and typically we have a two year delay before, you know, these things get to Australia. So watch out for that. All right, so yeah, before you go, if you want to win these um, uh, performance pedals for the Tesla Model 3, uh, put down in the comments to, down below, winner, and I'm going to draw a winner and announce them on Monday's show, the 25th of November. All right, um, these things come compliments of Ashley Hill. So thanks Ashley very much for donating them. Now he's got a Tesla. So if you're in the market for a Tesla Model 3 S or X, please use his referral code down below and get yourself some free supercharging kilometers or you can use mine. I don't mind, both are good. Um, so yeah, watch out for that. And hey, I'll see you Monday. Be good, be green.